bunk. It's Jimmy. What the fuck? Bunk, wake the fuck up. Mm. Bunk, wake up. Uh, uh, what the fuck uh, are you doing? Hey, Jimmy. Uh, what are you doing? Where are your fucking clothes? Yeah. Uh, 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 come on, man. No, no. no. Fucking no. Burn. What are you burn your clothes for, man? Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah, hair. Yeah, fibers and uh, pussy on it. Uh, what mm -hmm. trace evidence? Mm -hmm. You smell pussy? Know what the plural of pussy is? Pussy eye. Jimmy told me that. <laughs> Jimmy! Jimmy! Trying to get some of that pussy. She'll teach you to give a fuck when it ain't your turn to give a fuck. It ain't even gonna be a murder. This motherfucker probably came in here to take a shit or something and just fell out. I bet you there ain't nothing to it. You hope. You. Mulder motherfucker don't even think about coming back a murder. Don't even think of that shit. You go to Edmondson, right? Yeah, he was ahead of me. I remember you was the first brother I ever seen play that sport with a stick. Uh, what's it called? Lacrosse, man. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was all Metro Attack. Prep school boys used to pee themselves when they see the old bunk coming at them, you know? <laughs> <laughs> The hell you wear? No one mentioned all the perks. Lacrosse? What? A brother can't run with a stick? Jim Brown was all American midfield at Syracuse. You putting yourself beside Jim Brown? Uh, less than, uh, I'm just saying. <laughs> Ooh, look. Actual police work. Any of these? Either one. Right there. Just put it to Fruit's head. And the next thing, Fruit on the ground flopping and his girl all screaming. And this pink shit coming out the side of his head. The bunk. <laughs> Working weekends. The man's dedicated. Weak. Yeah. Very weak. Oh, fuck it. Give me an hour. <laughs> Thank you all that for hassling niggas and shit. I know I'm all that. I'm thinking about some pussy. Yeah, me too. Mm hmm. <clears throat> fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Motherfuck. Stop running. Either he uh, got tired or... Oh, he got into a car. Right. 11.34. I need a lab unit and a DPW crew with a jackhammer. A jackhammer? Gonna keep a bit of road, KGA. Fuck y'all, man. I'm out of here. Hey, hey, D'Angelo. You better bend the fuck over. Sad enough with the kids, being orphaned and everything. <laughs> I thought it was from Bunk's desk. <laughs> They're yours? Yeah, I'm afraid so. 
Good thing to look like their mama. <laughs> I feel like that motherfucker at the end of Bridget on the River Kwai, you know? What the fuck did I do? The bridge of what? Sorry, homie. All right, look, fuck y'all. I need a drink. Where's the love, Jimmy? Where is the mother fucking love? Oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We grand jury his ass when that motherfucker didn't blink. It's all of the paper trail. As long as they can get a blip, then it's gone. Well, them Greeks and those twisted ass names. Man, lay off the Greeks. They invented civilization. Yeah, ass fucking too. Well, tell me we got cameras inside. Oh. Oh, yeah. oh Jesus. Oh, my pants are wet. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, Yo. Bang. Yeah. <laughs> Nice shirt. Man, thank you. It takes man. guts wearing a pink shirt in the BPD homicide unit. Yes, it does. Well, guts or a familiarity with alternative lifestyles. It's a Joseph Abood. He puts dark buttons instead of brass on his blazers. That's the Abood signature. You know what they call a guy who pays that much attention to his clothes, don't you? Mm-hmm. A grown-up. Something to offset Detective Moreland's pinstripe lawyerly affectations and the brash, tweedy impertinence of Detective Freeman. Tweedy impertinence. I like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. I did, little man. Thinking he might get weak when that cop getting shot. Yeah? Where's the body? Drew it hell, behind the reptile house. Get back in the weeds, we might go find what's left of him. All right, that's seven. What else you got? Uh, how about them witnesses? The security lady, and what's his name? The maintenance man. Gant? Yeah, Gant. You did Gant alone. Can you hear me distinctly? Yes. Are you now under the influence of alcohol? Uh, Jimmy, <laughs> it ain't the same up there without your ass. Oh, no. Better, actually. Hey, come on, man. Here. Hold on to that. Yeah. I know this. I know this one. <laughs> They got every swinging dick with a shield on that detail but me. Jealous bitch? I bet you there's a fucking police detective somewhere else looking at a table full of heads right now. <laughs> you want a coffee? Soda? Vodka. Mm -mm. Coffee. Whoa. Why? We're supposed to take the door and get in quick. Calm the fuck down. Ain't like they're gonna flush a half dozen whores down the toilet. Oz is pretty quick to yank a pitcher, ain't it? I'm thinking of becoming a woman. Oh! 
Bruce, come to the bar without me. Kiss my black cat sister's ass. Bunk, this can work. It can. Fuck you. I mean that. And fact, it's a little bit on you, in, in, in a way. The fuck you say? You know the goddamn G.O. It's homicide's call. You don't go putting your paws in my murder, you simple fuck. Hey, you talking to a sergeant. Oh, fuck your oh, fucking take, stripes. Whoa, take it easy, Bob. Al Herc is trying to help us here. Man, he messed in my murder. He pays. Well, give him a chance. We can work something out. It's easy for you to say you ain't the primary on this. Yo, my turn to be Omar. No, give me, 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 give me. You feel me? No taxpayers. Shoot the way y'all look on things. Ain't no victim to even speak on. Bullshit, boy. No victim? I just came from Tasha's people, remember? All this death, you don't think that ripples out? You don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. We had us a community. Nobody, no victim who didn't matter. And now all we got is bodies and predatory motherfuckers like you. And out where that girl fell, I saw kids acting like Omar. Calling you by name, glorifying your ass. Makes me sick, motherfucker, how far we done fell. No more bodies. No more fucking bodies from you. No more comebacks or get evens on this. No more killing. You owe me your word. Hi, man. Nobody's on me. I don't give a fuck, right? Oh. Elena and I are gonna try again. Oh. Oh, shit. Spec the Camry, and Sean, my flesh and blood, gets the tag. Your kids know front and follow. They fucking love it. You play spy in the mall sometimes. Anyhow, I got a Woodmore address of a woman who lends her wheels to Stringer Bell. It's a start. The fucking family McNulty. Jesus. What? So, I drive all the way down to Liberty Road at 2 in the damn morning. On the midnight shift, I got two murders and a police shooting going down to do what? Get a goddamn mouse out of my wife's bedroom closet. Can you imagine that shit? What did you do? What the fuck you think? I got the mouse out as fast as I could, drove back to work. Couldn't do nothing else. Nadine out of her fucking mind over this little ass field mouse. I mean, she's up on the chair and shit when I come like some goddamn cartoon. I mean, how did you catch the mouse? Catch him, I lit his ass up. You shot the mouse? Mm-hmm. With your nine? First shot killed my wife's dress shoe. Got him with the second. What? You shot a mouse with your service weapon? Yeah. What did you do with the carcass? I cleaned it up, you know. Thought about leaving that little motherfucker there as a warning to the others, you know. <laughs> you aim for send a mass. Make sure the man goes down. No problem. I got the three on the left. Fuck you, assholes. <laughs> what took you so long? Well, you might have heard we get a few murders here in Baltimore. Sometimes we just get backed up. We think that, uh, I mean, that is, uh, we're looking into the possibility that Mr. Gant was involved in a street dispute. Which, uh, of course, would have nothing to do with his being a witness in an unrelated case that concluded weeks ago. But you haven't developed a suspect at this time? No, we haven't. Oh, bunk. Shame on you, lad. 
What'd you expect him to do? I know. Grab the mic, shove Rawls to the ground, declare that all of Baltimore should rise as one because they're murdering witnesses in cold blood. <laughs> Got yourself a hell of a case. Fuck you very much. Seeing you say, though, lack of pussy will change even a good man's demeanor. Lawyer time. Oh, he was my dog, man. I ain't sleep since I capped his ass, looking up at me all bloody as shit. He had much love for me. Even then, I ain't never gonna find another. Uh -huh. Man, y'all some cold ass motherfuckers, man. Shit is fucked. You fucking wake up like any other day. You fucking eat. You think about bills and dry cleaning and shit and fucking vacation and your fucking retirement plan. What? Like that. Like that. Like that. Fucking stairmaster. On a fucking stairmaster. Wake up and die right, you cunts. Dink got that man gun. Now, I ain't sure yet if that Dink be Dink Dink or Inky Dink or maybe Fat Dink. Then again, it might be Flat Nose Dink. No, way. Nah, nah, that can't be him. That Dink dead. Look, man, I can help you. But first, you gotta get me out from under these murder beefs. Yeah, how many murders are we talking? Look, man. Do it have to be the cop's gun? Because if it's guns you want, I can get you guns. You're not the run of the mill kind of asshole, are you, Jimmy? You're a special kind of asshole. I'm special, right? You wanna uh, waste that crab gut? <sighs> You're a pussy besides, Jimmy. Or simpler now, you got fat fingers. It's because when it came time for you to fuck me, you were very gentle. Well, you're damn right. See, because you could have hauled me out of the garage and just bent me over the hood of a radio car. And... No, you were, you were very gentle. I knew it was your first time. I wanted to make that shit special. It was, man. It fucking was. Take your fucking money back. Oh, no, this is Take mine. Take it back, you old whore. Turk. Can you get one more? Oh, the hell with Norris. You my real partner, Lester. My life partner. Don't tease, bitch. <laughs> Look at that bow-legged motherfucker. <laughs> I made him walk like that. That is Jimmy McNulty. When he ain't policing, he's a picture postcard of a drunken, self-destructive fuck-up. And when he is policing, it's pretty much the same motherfucker, but on a good case. He was black. Big, I thought with a large weapon. BNBG. A big Negro, big gun. So was it the Bunks cologne, huh? Oh, pussy. 
I'm gonna miss you too, bitch. Less to do, love, listening to other people's small calls, dog. A <laughs> bit of a pervert that way. You could use a wiretap case or two, broaden your horizons. Oh, no, no. The bunk is strictly a suit and tie, motherfucker. <laughs> At all hazards, a man must keep up appearances. Dignity, I say. Dignity above all, governor. Here, here. Oh, Jesus Christ, you sick fuck. Oh. He fuck you? He tried. But mostly he just fucks himself. Yeah, we be take me over there. You know, I walked up, knocked on the door, she came to the door, all naked and shit with this little ass robe on. So she's your uncle's girl, but she comes to the door for you naked. She used to do that shit with me all the time, man. Teasing. You know how girls do. Maybe you don't. Men of color usually don't do themselves. I mean, take me, for instance. Yeah, I mean, you got all the reason in the world. And yet, here I am, still standing. Play my song, darling. Yeah. Play the right song. Hey, bunk. Can make you hit the high notes, baby. Hey, hey bunk. Hey, look, I saw it first, Jimmy. Come on, man. Come on, baby. I got a place right here in camp. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. The gentleman, man. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. It's all pink, baby. Sorry, it's not getting too much to drink, you know. It's okay. Thank you. Get yourself home. Yeah. Knock it out. And Daniels listens when you talk. You got the smell of wisdom on you, brother. <laughs> now look, we all got roles to play. What's your role? I'm just a humble motherfucker with a big ass dick. You give yourself too much credit. Okay, then. I ain't all that humble. <laughs> oh. Glad this is working out for you. Oh, man, you too. You're making me all weepy and shit. I think I'm gonna get me a secondary job at that high-end cigar shop on Baltimore Street. As what? Homicide. <laughs> the Indian out front? I'd like to scalp your ass, motherfucker. Liar? Black liar? Make sure you don't step on that shell casing behind you. I ain't gonna take no shell casing behind me right on the side. I'm gonna step back and kick on the damn shell casing now and walk with the letters and numbers. European men like yourself sometimes carry one. Mm. Them people ain't right over there. <clears throat> so, in supervising the scene of terrorist attack, beast tactical can't help it. You stood with my manhood. Little liquids. boy, Blue. <laughs> you okay. uh, gentlemen will spare us this unfortunate homo erotic lapse. I will conclude my elegiac remarks. Then do it, you Gabby motherfucker. To conclude. Hi. Call me Bunk. Let me open this wine. Yeah, that's right. Let that shit breathe. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry. That's all right. They hear worse. Yeah, no doubt. So you want ice in yours? <sighs> nah, man. That's a double-digit vino. Even has a cork. So. I like your binders. Thanks. McNulty gave them to us. McNulty? Yeah. Not Jimmy? No. Uncle Jimmy? Jim? Nope. No? Daddy? Pops? McNulty. Oh, just plain McNulty. <laughs> Dang, Jimmy, you a domesticated motherfucker. Yeah, I guess I am. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is what it is. It really is. That's deep. 
And me, I get sick just filling the bathtub. It's just wrong. Yeah, just like when I seen J-Lo with that little itty bitty Spanish dude. Yes, he hit his mausoleum right in the neighborhood. How little Pedro girl feel that big thing up? Oh man, that girl got a prime cut of ass, boy. Really good heart. The machine tells the tale, son. We ready, Professor? Yeah. We'll start with an easy one. Is your name, in fact, Deshaun Fredericks? Yeah. True. And do you reside, in fact, the 1200 block of Woodyear Street in West Baltimore? Yeah. True. And did you and Monel shoot your boy Pookie down on Carey Street just like Monel said you did? No, nah, no. Lie. Lying motherfucker. Mm. Mm -hmm. The machine is never wrong, son. Fuck, man. I think I can't never keep his damn mouth shut. I should have busted a cap and Pookie ass my own self. Left Marnell home and shit. He just a bitch is all. The bigger the lie, the more they believe. At which point, the officer was unable to resist the ministrations of the aforementioned suspect and found himself brought to the point of a sexual act. <laughs> You're famous behind this, you know that? As a pervert, this report is gonna make you a BPD legend. I need more, Jimmy. More! Motherfucker. Oh. God made that. Couldn't be no accident. Hey, uh, don't forget the uh, stippling. I'm a rookie. Oh, there's something in his hand. Oh, yeah? Uh, give her some tweezers. Tater killed me. Oh. Is it typed? Because that would hold up a lot better in court. <laughs> Phone number in the other hand. Jimmy, you in? I'm good. Oh, come on, man. Take that skirt off and have a drink, for Christ's sake. Drink that. Yeah. Hey. world is on this hole where Jimmy McNulty is the most qualified to drive. Yeah, up is down, black is white, left is right. I lost the camera I took for my SD without my lieutenant's approval. And what evidence I got from the camera, I put to a made-up informant. Son, they're going to beat on your white ass like it's a rented mule. Barlow. What? Nice out. Oh, like Chanel number five comes out of your ass, Moreland. Just doing a background on my Vicks, looking for a common thread. Motherfucker, don't even. <sighs> Fuck you, too, motherfucker. Uh...